Uh, right here I have an article um, pulled up by Electric. This is from December 8th and it talks about uh, you know the new version 7.1, some of the beta testers, some of their leaks uh, about the UI, self-parking, autopilot restrictions, that kind of stuff. So as I scroll down here, um, let me try to find the part. Here we go. Okay, um, so it talks about the restraints um, that it's putting. So here it says autopilot or auto steering feature of autopilot is now limited to 45 miles per hour on single lane roads with markings. Does not involve the active cruise control. More difficult to activate auto steer feature on roads without central lane dividers or residential areas. And unfortunately, it doesn't say anything more than that. So where that's probably coming from is two things. One is this. Uh, picture right here which was leaked and you can see there's an autopilot uh, enabled Tesla and driving along with no obstructions and uh, you know the um, almost a temperature but the speed is set to 47 um, and the speed limit is 45 and then down here there's a warning that auto steer is restricted on this road so the car will slow um, so everybody's freaking out and then in addition to that we also have this statement from um, what is this this is from Tesla Motors Club and somebody had gotten a feature description um, in in the uh, car software that says auto steer cannot be activated above 45 miles per hour on roads without a center divider or residential roads um, which sort of backs up with um, what electric was saying um, here in terms of center lane dividers and residential areas. So is this a reason to freak out? Um, are we going to lose all the features that we spent tons of money buying our cars on? <laughs> Probably not. But one thing to keep in mind, um, especially with this issue of uh, non-bumper to bumper and non-freeway driving, which is basically this intermediate um, residential type of dry lane. Elon Musk has uh, stressed before that that's the environment that's extremely difficult to design autopilot um, hardware and software responses because of the complexity of stuff that it has to interact with and detect. Um, cross traffic, people crossing, bicycles going here and there, objects running across the road or you know balls being thrown across the road or whatever. Um, so it's not too surprising that this area is um, sort of a target for limitations, although it doesn't really address the craziness on YouTube because, you know, some of those crazy videos were done on freeways, not on um, residential stuff. But anyway, so what does it actually mean? Well, we really have to take it with a grain of salt because it is uh, just, it's not, I mean, it's not even beta, it's um, their leaks of testing software, so we don't know what the final is, which is a hope, uh, which I'm clinging to. But the other thing is, I don't think this is a carte blanche limitation of um, autopilot. It sounds like, from the way it's described, and even the picture, that this is non-freeway driving. Um, so in other words, you know, if, if you have a center divide um, or multi-lane stuff, you know, you're not, you're not going to be restricted. Uh, whereas if you have um, a sort of medium speed uh, we'll say smaller highway or residential street where oncoming traffic is basically coming at you you know maybe two feet away from you in other words just across the yellow line um, then it's going to limit uh, some of the some of the features apparently and uh, I mean it, that sort of makes sense I, I've you know when you're using autopilot in those scenarios you definitely have to be more uh, vigilant because it's not going to see a kid um, you know walking out from behind a car or something like that and I've even hit where the lines are not complete in the center section I've had autopilot actually kind of veer when it kind of loses its bearing into the center like and cross the yellow line and then my lane change warning the vibration of the steering wheel that actually goes off <laughs> because of autopilot which is kind of funny so and in those situations um, you know if there's a car coming at you at 50 miles an hour um, you know, that could cause some serious problems. So I'm not saying they should or shouldn't do what uh, some of the, what these leaks are indicating. I'm just saying I'm not surprised about it. Highlight, um, just 
to be very um, very tuned in or pay attention to the exact wording of things. Elon Musk tends to be a very precise person, especially in his off-the-cuff suggestions. So, you know, for me, that means that I'm paying attention to the fact that it doesn't just say auto steer is restricted, it's restricted on this road. Um, as well as here, you know, cannot be activated above 45 miles per hour on roads without a center divide or residential roads. It's not even talking about speed limits here. It's talking about an entire, uh, you know, category. The speed limit could be 35, and maybe you can still use it at 45 miles per hour, but you can't go over that in these kind of scenarios. So, I mean, I, I am encouraged a little bit that, okay, the limitations seems, seem very uh, circumstantial. It's a certain set of circumstances um, that they're honing in on. Uh, but freeway driving and, you know, bumper to bumper traffic where, I mean, really that's where the beta release was intended. Hopefully and seemingly that's going to be uninvolved. Anyway, um, I hope those were some helpful comments. Uh, it's an interesting development and most of it is really hearsay, including what I'm saying too, because it's just based on of, you know, a couple posts and a couple of pictures and we have no context with it. So, um, yeah. We'll see where this goes. Thanks for watching.